TS TechEasy is an innovative software tailored for quantity surveyor, streamlining the process of quantity takeoff. With a user-friendly interface, TechEasy offers powerful tools for accurate countings, linear measurements, and area calculations, making it an essential tool for construction professionals. Welcome to Cubicost TechEasy. Before we start our course, let me have a short introduction about our tutorial arrangement. First, we will start from create new project and adjust the floor setting. After that, we will learn the ways to make use of drawing manager and layer manager. In addition, we will go through the element list and attribute editor. After modifying all the settings, we will carry out the quantity takeoff in number, area, and length. We can apply the fader function to observe our drawings and entities, then create legend based on visible elements. Finally, we can get the quantity report after the calculation. This is our start patch. We can observe all the quick access to our recent files. We can double click the file to continue work. To create a new project, click on the new button at the top. Next, click the project setting tab. Click on the floor settings. In the floor setting, we can see by default, we have the first floor and the foundation floor. We can adjust the floor setting based on the information from the sectional or elevation drawings of the project. To create the superstructure, we can select the first floor, followed by insert floor to improve the upper floor level. For the substructure, we can select the foundation floor, followed by insert floor to improve the basement level. By default, the floor height is 3 meter. We can modify the floor height accordingly based on the section or elevation drawing of each floor. Next, we can modify the bottom elevation of the project. We are only need to put the bottom elevation of the first floor. The number of typical floors can be applied when our project has the levels come with the same layout. We can key in the number of typical floors. The system will carry out the multiplication for us. To make it short, we are able to create superstructure, substructure, modify the floor heights and bottom elevation, set up the typical floors in the floor settings. We can go for the next session after the floor setting. After setting up the floor setting, we move forward to the drawing management. By clicking the other tab, we are able to see these two icons. The top one is Drawing Manager and the second one is Layer Manager. By clicking this Drawing Manager icon, we are able to activate the Drawing Manager function. We can see there is a Drawing Manager window put up at the right hand side. We can also activate the Layer Manager window by clicking this Layer Manager icon. After that, let's start to import the drawings. By clicking on the Add Drawing function, we can select the drawing file to import. At the right hand side, we can select the patch to import. Once we're done, click on the open. After importing the drawings, we're able to see the drawings is in the drawing area. We can use our mouse wheel to scroll up to zoom in, scroll down to zoom out. Press and holding the mouse wheel to move the drawings. Next, we need to scale the drawings. As the imported drawing is not on the scale, we need to scale the drawing according to the actual dimensions. We can make use of the scale drawing function that the drawing manager. After activating the scale drawing function, right click the drawing. Once the drawing is highlighted, we need to select the two points with the distance provided in the drawing. Take for example, grid 11 to grid 15. Tips here is to select the longest distance for higher accuracy. We can now input the actual length of the dimension. The actual length is 26,400. After inputting the actual value, the drawing is scaled successfully. In some scenarios that we have multiple drawings in one cap file, we will need to split the drawings. 
let's say we want to measure for the bottom part of these drawings to split the drawings we just can click this split drawing function first step is to select the entity we can left click and drag on left to right once we have selected the cat entity we can right click to confirm and we can input the drawing name to input the drawing name we have two options the first one is to input manually or we can also choose and pick on the drawings let's say we want to pick on the drawings we can go to the drawing names and left click the drawing name will appear automatically in this window then we can click ok the split drawing will appear in the list the drawing manager at the layer manager we can show or hide the selected entities in the drawing to show the selected entities we can activate this show selected cat entity once we activate this we can select the entity selection mode for free select mode we can left click to select any entities we want then right click to confirm as a result only the select entities are shown for select by layer mode we can left click to the select the entities the entities with the same layer will be selected at the same time then right click to confirm for select by color mode we can left click to select the entities the entities with the same color will be selected at the same time then right click to confirm it goes the same way to hide the entities by applying hide selected cat entity to restore the hidden entities we just need to click restore hidden cat entity all the hidden entities will be restored back to original status This is the element list and below is the attribute editor. If we can't find the list at the left hand side, we can go to the other tab. Left click element list and attribute to animate it. Then we go back to the major tab. To create a new element, we can click on this plus button. Count is for quantity takeoff in number. Take for example, we try to create the element chair. We click on count. From this window, we need to input the data. We start from the name of element. Let's type in chair. In the associated group, we can key in furniture. For the shape attribute, we can select the shape of appearance to represent the entities. We can also modify the fill color. Once everything is modified, we can click OK. After creating the element, we can observe it appears in the element. The attribute editor shows the details of that element that we can always modify it. This is our function tips. It will show the step-by-step -step tips when we are activating the function. By following the tips, we can always understand the upcoming step and tap for the action. Next, we activate the point function and point in the entities. The counting of the entities is in sequence because we have selected number, the shape of the elements. We can modify the shape based on our preference. For example, we change the shape from number to tick marks. When we point in the entities, those tick marks will represent the entities. Besides that, we can apply the auto count function. Go to major tab, click auto count. Select the legend in the drawing. Right click to confirm. We need to modify the identity settings. From the name attribute, we key in chair. We can modify the associated group to furniture. For the shape, we can select device shape. Then we can either select whole scan or custom scan. When we select whole scan, the auto count function is applied to the whole drawing. At the confirm legend list, we can scroll to the bottom to unselect the legend with low similarity. Or we can adjust the percentage of similarity to the acceptable range. For example, 100%. All the detected legend which lower than 100% are unselected. After this, we can click create.
Besides that, we can select custom scan to apply auto count for selected area only. For example, room Perry 1. We click auto count. Select the legend and right click to confirm. After modifying the name and the other details, we select custom scan. We select the area for room Perry 1. Right click to confirm. After confirming the similarity of the legend, click Create. In this topic, we will learn the quantity takeoff for area. First, we can click on the plus button and select area. We need to key in the name. And we can also key in the height if we need to obtain the volume and vertical area of the created entity. Next, we can use the line, three point up or rectangle function to draw the area. By applying line function, we can left click to specify the point and form the area, then right click to confirm. To generate the curve area, we can activate the three point up function. Just click on the starting point, followed by any point in the middle and click on the ending point, right click to confirm. We can also activate the rectangle function to form an area. We just click on the rectangle function, specify the starting point and ending point, followed by right click to confirm. Alternately, we can apply quick area function to generate the area. Click on the quick area function, right click on the drawing to form an enclosed area. Click OK after this. Modify the quick attribute accordingly. Click OK after modifying the quick attribute. On the other hand, we can use the quick area function in another method. Activate the quick area function. Left click on the boundary line of the room. Click OK after this. Modify the quick attribute accordingly. Click OK after modifying the quick attribute. In some scenarios, when we face there is outstanding area in the room, for example, this AHU room, we can use the rectangle function to cover up the outstanding area. Right click to confirm. Select these two areas. Right click and select merge function. The areas are merged. We can also use the split function to split the whole area into two. Select the entity. Right click and select the split function. Use the rectangle function. Right click to confirm. Delete the split area after this. In this topic, we will learn the quantity takeoff for length. First, we can click on plus button and select length. We need to key in the name and we can also key in the section width and section height if we need to obtain the area or volume. Next, we can use the line, three point up or rectangle function to draw the line. By applying line function, we can left click to specify the point and form a line, then right click to confirm. To generate the curve line, we can activate the three point up function. Just click on the starting point, followed by any point at the middle and click on the ending point, right click to confirm. We can also activate the rectangle function to form four lines in one shot. We just click on the rectangle function, specify the starting point and ending point, followed by right click to confirm. Also, we can apply the quick line function. By activating the quick line function, we can left click to select the line. The line are formed based on the boundary of the room. Right click to confirm and modify the quick attribute accordingly, then click OK. In the case that we want to select single line, we can hold the shift button and left click. Only one line is highlighted and right click to confirm. Modify the quick attribute accordingly, then click OK. To observe the entities we created, we can click on this fader icon. 
it's easier to reveal the entity's result on the grey background drawing. After this, we can carry out the calculation. Go to the Measure tab, click on Calculate, click on All Flows to select the whole model and then click OK. Click on OK after the calculations. After this, we can click Create Legend function to generate the legend. The legend will be shown at the right bottom corner based on our currently visible elements. In the case that we want to show the selected elements, for example, the chair elements, we can press F3 shortcut key or left click the batch function, tick on chair elements, then click OK. All the selected elements are highlighted. Next, we right click on the drawings, select only show selected entity, click on create legend again. Only the selected entities will be displayed on the legend. If you want to restore the hidden entities, just right click on the drawing, select restore selected entity. After this, we can export the current visible drawings and legend in PDF format. Click on export PDF function. We can tick the change to white function for the drawing background. Then tick the background contrast color function for the cat line. Click export to export out and select the location to save. Click OK after this. After we complete the creation of entity, we come to the most important part which is report. Before we abstract the quantity, always carry out the calculation to make sure the quantity is up to date. Go to the measure tab, click on calculate. Click on all flows to select the whole model, then click on OK. After the calculation, click on view quantity by category. Click on whole project to view quantity for the whole project, then click OK. We will get the summary after this. To change the way of the quantity group, click on set classification and quantity. Take for example, if you want to the height to be presented in the summary, just click on section height then click on OK. If you want to group the entities based on the name followed by flow, we can go back to set classification and quantity. Use move out function to move the name attributes above the flow attribute, then click on OK. The arrangement of the summary will group based on what we set. We can click on show subtotal to let the software to sum up each category for us. After everything is done, we can export the summary out to Excel for our further actions. Just click on Export to Excel. In the case that we want to create a standard format to let other parties to review the summary, we can click on New Template under Template. Repeat the step for set classification and quantity. Click OK. We can export an import format based on our consideration. We can use the reversely check model function to check the entities. Select the cell with quantity. Click on reversely check model. The software will show us all the entities included in the quantity takeoff. When we are done, just click on the return button to return to the previous window.